We're just going to very, very quickly introduce ourselves. Um, some of you we've met before, some of you we might not have done. My name is Zoe. I'm the cantor at Finchley Reform Synagogue and I work within the reform movement. And I love singing with my good friends, Jude and Mish, um, and, uh, and with all of you. So we're hoping that you're going to really, really be singing along um, at home. And I'm Mish Sampson. I am the director of music at Finchley Reform, but I, I can already see some familiar faces from other shawls I've worked with um, across the country. So I'm so delighted to see you again. We're going to have a lovely time singing today. And I'm Judith Silver. And again, lovely familiar faces and also some unfamiliar. So thank you so much for joining us. We're really delighted to be here. So this session is Songs of Hope and Healing, which felt so critical in our time. We're going to um, start with a melody and a text that um, comes from Yehuda Halevi, a 12th century poet. And you may have heard of his text before. It speaks about a search for God. And I'm gonna read you just a tiny piece of the translation before we get singing. He writes, where might I go to find you? Your place is exalted and hidden. Yet where would I not go to find you? Your glory fills the universe. My heart cries out to you. Please draw near to me. The moment I reach out for you, I find you reaching in for me. So a text that speaks of seeking God. Sometimes the easiest way to seek God is without words. And at least I would say with music. So I'm going to just sing a couple of times the nigun, the wordless melody that comes towards the end of this song. And hopefully you'll uh, join in. You might know it already, or if you don't, you'll, uh, you'll join in as soon as you're able to. It goes like this. Yeah. So now you know how that part goes when we come to it. So lovely to be able to see so many of you singing along. Let's do that one more time. When we were planning the music for this session, one of the things that we gave ourselves permission to do was to choose texts 
that speak to us at this time, even if they're not the text you immediately go to for healing. And this text, Elohai Neshama, um, is the text that we use in our morning service. Uh, oh God, the soul that you have given me to Horahi is pure. And there is something incredibly soothing for me at this time of thinking that even in the dark times or even when I go to sleep in the morning, God willing, we can wake up and be thankful that our soul has been restored to us. We can experience and enjoy another day. So this is Elohai Neshama. The music is by Fred Ross Perry. And uh, I think you'll get the hang of the Elohai bit really quickly. myself hello <laughs> thank you mish so beautiful and zoe kicking us off with that so um we've had a little bit with instruments and we're going to sing a little bit unaccompanied and um we're going to sing ourselves a, a blessing the blessing of peace uh, often this comes at the end of a service when we sing the words adonai ishmo May, may you be blessed in your coming and going in life from now and always may atave adolam so uh, i'm going to give you a line to sing if you choose i'm going to find a nice note for you which is that one so this little line goes shalom salam shalom salam shalom salam shalom salam you can click in between if you choose shalom salam shalom salam shalom salam shalom salam if you like harmony singing there's a low shalom salam that starts down here and it goes shalom salam 
שלום, סלאם, שלום, סלאם, שלום, סלאם. We just practice that with or without clicks. שלום, סלאם, שלום, סלאם, שלום, סלאם, שלום, סלאם. I'll give you one more element that you might choose to sing, the words I just mentioned. There's a line that you can sing over the top that goes, Adonai Yishmo Tzetecha Uvoecha Adonai Yishmo Tzetecha Uvoecha So I can see some people are singing with, some have heard it before. If you haven't, it is a very repetitive song. And as a change of texture, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you a recording that was made when uh, Mish and Zoe and I um, collaborated for the uh, recordings that were made for Finchley Reform Synagogue a number of years ago. So I'm going off into my uh, other screen and I have to just share a window with you. So I'm going to do that now. <laughs> Sorry for the pause. Here we go. Fabulous. Okay, so you'll be able to sing any part you like, in any way you like. You can dance. Also good. Here we go. Shalom, salam, shalom, salam, shalom, salam, shalom, salam, shalom. Salam, shalom, salam, shalom, salam, shalom, salam. Adonai Yishmo, Tzetecha Uvoecha. Adonai Yishmo, Tzetecha
Thank you, Judith. A really beautiful composition of Judith's. If you uh, haven't heard her music before, there are many, many, many songs to discover. So we're keeping a little bit with that theme of guarding our going out and our coming in with a text that I think um, certainly I have found and many of us have found um, very healing over this time. And that's the text of Hashki Venu. Typically, we find Hashki Venu in our evening liturgy. And it speaks about a request that we make to God that not only says God are going out and are coming in, but also says, let us lie down peacefully and rise up again, wake up again the next morning to enjoy life, full of the energy that we need to get on with the new day. And I'm conscious that in this challenging time, both going to sleep peacefully and comfortably and waking up in the morning and feeling like you've got the energy to conquer the next challenge is not always the easiest thing. And this song makes, a, this text makes a demand of God that doesn't just say today and then tomorrow. It says, from now and forever. Can, can this happen always? Please make this always be the way that we feel. That's quite a big request. But let's, um, let's sing this text together. And that line is going to repeat a few times. So I'm just going to sing it now and hope that you'll... Uh, catch on to it so that you can join me in singing some of the rest of this text. It's just a section of the Hashki Venu prayer um, and it was composed by Debbie Friedman. Mm -hmm. So it goes like this. Do that again. Me ata ve adolam. Me ata ve adolam. Me ata ve adolam. Me ata ve adolam. If you haven't got it yet, you'll get it very quickly. Ushmo seitenu.
so we come to a place of calling out to God in distress and the reassurance that comes it's from Psalm 118 that says, I called to God from a narrow, confined, difficult place. And God called back to me from a wide open space. So this is a setting that I wrote a number of years ago for Minhamid Sar. Um, I'm aware that I, I don't know if Mish's picture is visible to anyone else. I've lost Mish and I know that we're going to need to sing with her in a moment. If I speak, do I come up now? Yeah. yeah I'm here. I'm just being very <laughs> quiet and respectful. <laughs> How lovely. You, 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 re, you replaced yourself there. So um, do you want to unmute as well? Uh, I'm, I'm here. I'm yeah. here. Okay, great. So we are going to lead you in learning the three parts of this song and then uh I'll, I'll take it back rather than well let's see how it goes um let me sing you the first bit so minhametsa karati ya it goes minhametsa karati ya karati ya Mitsa Karatia Karatia Bin Hamitsa, maybe once more Bin Hamitsa Karatia Karatia Bin Hamitsa Bin Hamitsa Karatia Karatia Bin Hamitsa then it goes like this. Anani Vamercha Anani Vamercha Bia Anani And then we have some lovely English words that Judah's written based on the translation. From the depths of my anguish I called to you, from the breadth of your love you replied. From the depths of my anguish I called to you, from the breadth of your love you replied. Should we go around once more? Here it comes. From the depths of my anguish I called to you, from the breath of your love you replied From the depths of my anguish I called to you From the breath of your love you replied Just waiting for Jude to unmute herself and then she'll be able to lead us it's so nice to sing along. Uh, if you sing along on Zoom, as I'm sure all of you know, it sounds like you're all singing in different times because you kind of are. So my suggestion is I'll just rotate those parts. Please sing any part you like because they do all go together. There's a recording, but somehow it feels a bit more live if we just do it this way. So here we go. Breath of your love, you replied. From the 
the depths of my anguish I call to you from the breath of your love you reply so I see thank you very much Rabbi Monique has put up some words for us that is delightful so if you don't know the words and you want to look in the chat we'll have one more round <laughs> Jude. So we realise that if you've chosen to come to a session on songs of hope and healing during what could otherwise be an incredibly hectic day of learning at Limud, then you may well have someone on your mind, someone in need of healing at this time. Maybe it's yourself needing physical or emotional strength right now. Maybe you have someone else in mind. So we thought we'd take this chance to learn together a very short sung prayer for healing. And then we'll take a moment to sing it together with intention as we call to mind the people we're thinking of, possibly the people who made us decide to come to this session. The text that we're going to be using is Elna Rafanala, and it comes from Bamidbar, and it's Moses' prayer um, when his sister Miriam falls ill. And Elna Rafanala, and we might translate it as please God heal her, but actually, if we did it in word order, it would be God please heal, please her. Such a short prayer, such a desperate and direct and powerful prayer and Cantor Jeff Klepper set this to music like a mantra so that you could repeat it again and again as you call to mind the people who you seek healing for who will learn it and then we'll do it with intention it goes like this <laughs> El na rafana la El na rafana la El na rafana la El na rafana la El na rafana last time El na rafanala El na rafanala And if you feel called you can put a higher part on and it would be something like this El na rafanala El na rafanala So those are our two parts of the mantra and I'll go back and forth between them and you can too but we'll just take a moment to call to mind those people right now in your lives and in my life who need healing and who need comfort and strength. El na rafanala, El na 
also a call and response part for the Hebrew and I'm hoping that you'll be part of that call and response. Those who sow, who sow in tears will reap in joy, will reap in joy. Those who sow So we're moving to a piece which is by the beautiful American um, composer and a friend of all of us called Chava Miral, uh, Achat Sha'alti. This 
this great text, one thing, just I just ask one thing of you, God, to, to just be with you, to just be with you. So, um, the beginning is this, and we'll give you, as we have for a few songs, we'll give you a couple of rounds of a couple of parts. So if you wish to sing with the song, you can. You're also really invited to just let it wash over you. So that might be what you need. those first two parts is a little bit more that you haven't yet heard you'll pick it up or just as Jude said feel free to let it just wash over you <laughs> Shifty, shifty, perfect Adonai. Shifty, shifty, call your name, Chayai. Lachazot benoah Adonai. What do you think, Jude? Is it me next? Yeah. Okay. So, this text that we've chosen, um, we're familiar with in another form. We're familiar with Kol Ha'olam Kulo, 
Geshet Sameod, which is usually translated as um, all the world is a very narrow bridge and the most important thing is not to be afraid. Um, but if we go back to the text, which is what this composer, Yotam Mahler, um, did, then actually it's Vada Vada, no, Shaha Adam Sarich La Avor, that a person has to cross Geshe Sameod, a very narrow bridge, Vaha Ika Vahaklal Shelo Yit Pached Klal. The main rule is not to scare yourself, not to fill yourself up with fear. Not to, it's not, not to be afraid, it's not to do it to yourself. Um, and this feels like such the right text for our times right now. There's enough going on, we don't need to fill ourselves up with fear, no matter how narrow the bridge. So this is Yotam Mahler's beautiful setting of Geshetza. Vida, vida, sheha adam sarich lavo geshet sameot, geshet sameot. Vida, vida, sheha adam sarich lavo geshet sameot, geshet sameot. Vahaika. Vahaklal, Shiloyit Pachet Klal. Vahaika, Vahaklal, Shiloyit Pachet Klal. The da, the da, Sheha Adam Sarif, Lavo Keshet Sameod, Keshet Sameod. Adam Sarich Lavo Keshet Sameod Keshet Sameod Vahaika Vahaklal Shiloyit Pachet Thank you so much, Mish. Um, it's strange, isn't it, not being in the same room as each other and not being able to have that same sense of uh, feeling the, the, the mood of the room. But for me, that uh, was a, a, a cue for some feeling and some tears and some reflection so I'm very grateful for that um, we have a few minutes left of the session there are two songs left on the list but I have to ask my dear friends if we're just going to skip to the last one otherwise they might need to reset the room for the next session exactly I know that you need 10 minutes to reset so I think we need to I think we need to send you off with a Kenya Hirat song uh, so we're going to let Zoe start us on that. And thank you, everybody, because we'll send you away with this beautiful thought. So, yeah. So um, the, the sad thing about our time being up is that you won't get to hear Judith's beautiful setting of Bilyanzo. So I don't know, Judith, if it's out anywhere that people can find it and listen to it. Um, I, I, can re I can repost it on Facebook. Okay, so then you'll uh, hopefully have a chance to hear it. And in the meantime, we, uh, we finish with this blessing, which com combines the um, Buddhist loving kindness blessing with Birkat Kohanim, the blessing of uh, Kohanim that comes from the Book of Numbers. And there is a part that we'd love you to sing with us, um, which the words you need are just, Ken Yehi Ratson, may it be so. And it goes like this. 
Can you hear a tone? Can you hear a tone? May I find my way back home? Can you hear a tone? Can you hear a tone? May I find my way back home? May I find my way back home? Can you hear that song? We'll do it one more time. Can you hear that song? Can you hear that song? May I find my way back home? Can you hear that song? Can you hear that song? May I find my way? And the blessing starts as a blessing for ourselves, offering loving kindness to ourselves. May I be safe. May I be free. May I find space. just be can you hear that song can you hear that song may I find my way back home can you hear that song can you hear that song may I find my way and this is a chance now to turn our attention to someone else. Be, may you be safe. And the composer Lauren, Lana Arian suggests we now call to mind someone who we love and respect. One of the greatest purposes of this Buddhist teaching, the metta meditation, the loving kindness meditation, is its purpose in helping us to work with those people in our lives who we find hard, who we struggle with. And so I said I would take this verse. You sing the same words as you just did with Mish, but somehow we find our way through the resistance and just see that person as another soul just like us doing their best may you be safe may you be the fact that we are all here so a blessing for this community to emerge for pulling it all together and for each of us sitting in our homes but really being such a part of 
this community together. May we. May we be safe. May we be free. May we find space, space to just be. Can you hear that song? Can you hear that song? Can you hear that song? May we find our way back home. Can you hear that song? Can you hear our song? May we find our way back home. Can you hear our song? Can you hear our song? May we find our way back home. Can you hear our song? Can you hear our song? May we 